and welcome to another episode of your personal Siebel CRM update brought to you by the Siebel Hub, the number one resource for always up-to-date Siebel CRM training. Oracle's shipping those monthly updates like clockwork. Come middle of the month and there it is. Indicated by the Siebel Bookshelf update and the general availability of downloads on my Oracle support. September 2023 is no exception. And here we go again listing the latest features and enhancements for the only enterprise-grade CRM that can be deployed on-prem and on-cloud. Web Tools is catching up on Siebel Tools and gains another wizard, this time the Task Wizard, the Upgrade Factory, introduced with Siebel Cloud Manager in June 2023, is now available on-premises. The Modular Deployment Engine, MDE, gets an update too, it no longer overwrites your custom Tomcat settings. Yay. Order management users will find two new features, alert for incomplete configurations and the ability to share profile attributes between remote configurator sessions and the object manager. Since 23.8, the internal Tomcat ships with an updated OCI SDK version 3.2.2 which application integrators can choose to deploy instead of the old version. The Siebel XSL to XML converter, which also converts property sets to JSON and back, is now documented. Version 7.0 of Oracle Analytics Server, OAS, and the adjacent Oracle Analytics Publisher, OAP, is now officially certified for Siebel 23. The Tomcat version shipped with 23.9 is 9.0.76, so no change since 23.8. That's a lot to discuss. So let's dig in. Siebel Task-Based User Interface, aka TBUI, is a cornerstone of many Siebel CRM projects. Since 22.7, tasks and their related object definitions are fully workspace managed. Also, since 22.7, Siebel Web Tools includes the task editor. In 23.9, Oracle added the second task-related wizard after the transient bus comp wizard to Siebel Web Tools. This time, it's the task wizard itself, which creates a Kickstarter task definition. In June 2023, with the 23.6 update of Siebel Cloud Manager, SCM, Oracle introduced the Siebel Upgrade Factory. The Upgrade Factory is an orchestration facility that automates most steps of a Siebel CRM development upgrade. An upgrade is a complex project, including a major version lift of a Siebel development environment from version IP16 or prior to the current Siebel CRM version. Until 23.8, the Upgrade Factory was only available as part of SCM and thus required an Oracle Cloud Infrastructure tenancy. The cloud-based version is also limited in terms of supported operating system and database, namely Oracle Linux and Oracle Database. With 23.9 and higher, Oracle provides a similar experience for on-prem environments. The Siebel REST API, hosted on the AI Tomcat, now supports requests to kick off and manage the upgrade process for a development database on a single stack server, supporting almost all OS and database combinations that you can use to run Siebel CRM on-prem. A big difference to a classic upgrade is the independence from the Windows-based Siebel Tools client. The upgrade factory uses the command line equivalent known as Siebdev CLI, and Siebel Web Tools to support the respective steps of the upgrade process. Siebel Upgrade Factory supports prior Siebel versions 8 to IP16. At the time of this recording, we're planning to update the Upgrade Factory video training to include the on-prem Upgrade Factory. Stay tuned for updates in the description below and on the Siebel Hub. If your Siebel CRM deployment has already been upgraded to IP17 and higher, you'll find little use in the Upgrade Factory. Instead, it might not be the first time that you use the Modular Deployment Engines, MDE's, Update Installer to bring your environment to the latest version. In versions prior to 23.9, the MDE update had the annoying habit of overwriting Tomcat settings that administrators have carefully put in place, 
requiring redeploying these settings once the update was complete. For example, the JVM memory pool settings are crucial for the hardworking felines. In 23.9 and higher, the MDE is now abstaining from overwriting the administrative settings, which is, of course, great news. If you run the repository upgrade for 23.9 or higher, the view to configure multiple customizable products in parallel will be updated. Recall that this view was introduced in 22.12. The new behavior, as described in the order management guide, is that users will be prompted with an alert when trying to use the save all button and any of the customizable product configurations are incomplete. This feature is driven by Siebel OpenUI and can be customized via client PM user properties. Another order management related feature introduced in 23.9 is the ability to share profile attributes between sessions of object managers and the remote configurator instances. Developers can now declare a list of profile attributes via custom script in the load instance or set instance methods of the remote complex object instance service. These profile attributes can then be set or retrieved in either the remote configurator instance or the object manager. The project administration guide 23.9 or higher includes documentation and script examples. With Siebel CRM Update 22.10, Oracle introduced a standard integration with OCI AI services, providing out-of-the-box use cases to detect personally identifiable information, PII, or transcribe voice recordings. As you will have noticed, artificial intelligence and machine learning are the hottest areas in IT right now, both in terms of hyperbole and actual technological advancements. The latest additions to Oracle's OCI AI services prove that the company is not standing idle. Siebel CRM developers who want to leverage the latest features of OCI can now opt to deploy the OCI SDK 3.2.2, which is shipped with the internal Tomcat in 23.8 and higher. Instructions how to extract the zip archive and apply Tomcat settings are included in the Applications Administrations Guide 23.9 and higher. Cutting edge integration between Siebel CRM and external systems often involves RESTful services. As such, JSON is the data exchange format of choice. The ability for a Siebel developer to quickly and accurately convert proprietary Siebel property sets to JSON and vice versa is crucial for efficiency. The infamously named standard business service, Siebel XSL to XML converter can do exactly that. This service has quite the history. It's been provided as a non-extensible object, NEO, and has only been included in the design repository in 20.9 or higher. In 22.8, it was also added to the repository upgrade source archives, allowing customers to uptake. If you cannot find the service in your design repository, it's fairly straightforward to create a custom instance of that service using the correct C++ and Java classes. Once the standard or custom PS service is in place, developers can start using the JSON to PS or PS to JSON methods. The former JSON to property set is very easy to use as the input is a JSON string and the output is a property set. The latter property set to JSON has developers scratch their heads as it was not as straightforward to use as one would expect. The incoming property set is required to have a specific structure which was not documented until now. Oracle's finally lifting the veil in 23.9 by adding a chapter to the EAI business processes and rules guide that provides example script how to prepare the proper input for the PS to JSON method. Another product with a history is Oracle Analytics Server, OAS. This one goes back to a company named Enquire, which was acquired by Siebel Systems in 2001, who dubbed the product Siebel Analytics. After the acquisition of Siebel Systems by Oracle, the product was rebranded to Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition, also known as OBIEE. This was also the time when Oracle included their XML publisher in most acquired products. Today, the product line is known as Oracle Analytics and is available on cloud and on-premises 
with the respective product names being Oracle Analytics Cloud and Oracle Analytics Server. Both include Oracle Analytics Publisher, OAP. Okay, that was quite the history lesson. It's important though, since historically, many Siebel CRM deployments are tightly integrated with a prior or current version of Oracle Analytics. And as Siebel CRM is upgraded and updated, the BI system has to follow. Thus, many Siebel CRM projects are eagerly waiting for Oracle to update the product certifications as new versions of Oracle Analytics Server are released. As of September 2023, Siebel CRM 23 is officially certified for Oracle Analytics Server and Oracle Analytics Publisher 7.0. The product also bears the version number 2023 in the official Oracle documentation.